More and more crises are arising as we near the second coming of Christ. And we must be informed and we must be prepared. Kindly share this timely prophetic update to all. What is Triple E? What is the truth behind? In weaponizing ticks, please and the things of nature. Massachusetts town approves voluntary lockdown after dark as fears of incurable EEE grows. August 24, 2024, residents in a Massachusetts town are being urged not to leave their homes after dark due to the spread of a deadly mosquito-borne virus. The Board of Health in Oxford, a city of 13,300 people, about 50 miles southwest of Boston, has set an outdoor curfew in hopes it will reduce the chances of people being bitten by mosquitoes which carry EEE, Eastern Equine Encephalitis. New York Post.com says Northeast towns issues voluntary lockdown to prevent spread of potentially deadly mosquito borne disease, EEE. Starting on October 1, the recommendation is to remain indoors until the first hard froze. The period from dusk through dawn is considered peak mosquito hours. The notice stated the advisory designates the four communities as critical risk. Oxford, Massachusetts, and three neighboring towns have a reason for concern as mosquitoes carrying a potentially deadly virus called Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E, infected a resident who is now fighting for his life. Board recommended ending outdoor sports activities before dusk to avoid peak mosquito hours. They're telling us up there in the Northeast that there is no money available to spray away those mosquitoes and to prevent the virus once people are bitten. The risk of a dangerous virus spread by mosquitoes has four towns west of Boston, Massachusetts, urging residents to stay indoors after dark until at least October. Now, according to a local report, the town of Oxford says it doesn't have the funds to spray away the potentially deadly pests. Bloomberg says Bill Gates said altered mosquito is next weapon to fight malaria. This is June 16, 2016. Gene-driven technology may be ready in five years, he says. Bring on the genetically modified mosquitoes, Bill Gates says. We're making in here 30 million mosquitoes a week. We've been able to bring the solution of all back mosquitoes to the city. Mass-produced mosquitoes getting ready to give us the eggs to go out directly into the field. It's crazy how they sound. The other approach is to take the adults themselves. Here we have 300 and they can be released off the back of a motorbike. Get up, get up, get up. Or even packaged into a drone for aerial release. In the quest for scientific advancement, humans continue to experiment with nature. Here's the latest one. In Florida, 12,000 genetically modified mosquitoes the first such kind, will be released in open air for the next 12 weeks by autumn. This number is expected to reach 20 million. 20 million genetically engineered mosquitoes. What will they do? Scientists say these artificial insects will help prevent dengue and Zika. But the residents of Florida fear a mosquito apocalypse. Why are they using genetically modified mosquitoes? Ticks and fleas. According to Weon, Messing with nature can prove to be fatal, yet in the quest for scientific advancement, humans continue to experiment with nature. Scientists say these artificial insects will help prevent dengue and Zika, but residents of Florida fear a mosquito apocalypse. Same organism that causes Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and that's the most deadly tick-borne disease in the United States. It also was a germ that was being weaponized by the um, the U.S. military at the time, and and they tried to stuff it in ticks. I mean, so what is tick weaponization? So what he said was, I spent over a decade in the biological weapons program, a contractor to Fort Detrick, um, working on uh, weaponizing fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes, trying to mass produce them, stuffing. Please, with the plague, 
uh, stuffing mosquitoes with deadly Trinidad virus, Trin- Trinidad virus, and then stuffing ticks with either deadly or incapacitating hassipating diseases like relapsing fever, Venezuelan equine encephalitis, rabies, uh, leptospirosis. Which- While appearing to the children of men as a great physician who can heal all their maladies, he will bring disease and disaster until populous cities are reduced to ruin and desolation. Even now, he is at work. Through spiritualism, Satan appears as a benefactor of the race, healing the diseases of the people and professing to present a new and more exalted system of religious faith. But at the same time, he works as a destroyer. What is the reason for tick weaponization and mass producing them? Let me know in the comment section. We have been bought with a price, expensive and valuable, the blood of Christ. 1 Corinthians 16, 19 to 20. You were bought with a price. You were actually purchased with the precious blood of Jesus and made his own. So then honor and glorify God with your body. We will see greater and greater abomination as we near the second coming of Christ. But question, how can we withstand these trials we are witnessing now? And men of power will use the most unthinkable methods. How can we stay strong and equipped? Answer, by putting on the whole armor of God a spiritual armor provided by God to those who will trust the promises in the Bible and by God's grace, avoid the mark of the beast. In here, 30 million mosquitoes a week. Come have a look. These tiny black dots are up to 10,000 mosquito eggs. Across all of these strips, about one and a half million dried eggs waiting to hatch. In this tray, we've got the newly hatched eggs. They're little larvae, so small you can hardly see them. They're gonna sit in here for a few days and eat and get bigger until they look like these ones over here. They're starting to turn into pupae. We're wanting to do the next step of sorting. Who will you trust, dear friends? The physicians of Babylon? or the promises of the Word of God? Kindly type in the comment section, Jesus is my great physician. Thank you, dear fans. May we continue to stand true to the Word of God, share this present truth, and continue to preach and teach truth found in Bible prophecy.